Today, I'm going to show you some examples of how you can use ChatGPT to really speed up how you're using Google Sheets and to start using more complex formulas like Pro. I've already published videos on ChatGPT with Microsoft Excel, but this one is specific to Google Sheets. You're going to be shocked at how good ChatGPT is at creating these formulas as long as you know how to prompt it correctly. I have ChatGPT open here. I've linked it in the description for how to access it. This is a fairly simple sheet where we have a list of invoices by company ID and in different currencies. We're going to use ChatGPT to look up and grab data from other sheets like we have here to automatically calculate these prices based on what's on the currency sheet. So we'll, we can convert the values to, to calculate the total cost and to create formulas to group the data together. If you like this video, then please press the like button and subscribe to the channel. To start off, we want to grab the company names from a different sheet. So what I'm going to do is go to ChatGPT and write in this formula. Here I'm going to get it to write a Google Sheets formula to output the company name based on its ID. Search cell A2, which is this one, in the current sheet against column A in the company list sheet, which is over here. So in the company list sheet, we have company IDs, along with the corresponding names and contact details, and then output the value in column B for that row. So effectively, we want to check, do a lookup on the company ID and get the company name. So let's go back to ChatGPT and see what it comes out with. Great, so this has come up with a VLOOKUP, which looks correct to me. I'm just going to go in and copy that into this specific cell, and I will accept the autofill. Great, so that's done the job there. Next, what we want to do is get it to do the same thing for company contact, but we want it to output this one instead, in column C. Now I'm just asking it to do the same thing, except output the value for the third column. So this remembers the context of the previous, of the previous query, and so we don't actually need to copy and paste in exactly what we want to do again, which is really handy. Great, so again, that worked. Next up, we want to do a lookup and convert the currencies. So what we have in sheet two is a list of currency values. Now, this is a really, really basic example. Now, if, ideally, we can import currency rates using the Google Finance formula or import it by some other means. But let's just work from this really basic example so that then you can build on that after that if you really want to. I've gone back into ChatGPT and created a new chat. And I'm just going to explain to it what I want to do for this particular task. So cell D2 in the current sheet contains a currency code and cell E2 contains a cost. So D2 is the currency code here. So that's euro, USD, dollars, and pounds. And cell E contains the cost. So E2 contains the cost. The currency value sheet contains currency code in column A and its value in USD in column B. So here's the value in USD. One EUR is equal to that in USD. Create a Google Sheets formula that takes the cost in cell E2 and outputs the cost in USD in cell F2. So let's see what it comes out with. So it's doing another VLOOKUP and then it's multiplying it by original currency value and we enter. So again, this looks correct to me. A uh, thousand euros based on this value is 1089 USD. And if we look at GBP, then there looks to be the corresponding conversion there as well. So look, it's done a good job with this as well. Next up, we just wanted to sum the total cost in USD. So this will be quite an easy one. We probably don't really need to get chat GPT to do this, but let's just go for it anyways. So it's going to come up with a sum formula, which is straightforward. Okay, and it's summed up all of the values in dollars. Okay, next up, we wanted to create some totals by currency. So you would need to have a reasonable amount of experience with Google Sheets or Excel formulas to know what to do here, uh, unless you're to use a pivot table. But let's just do a true formulas for the moment. As long as you can explain things in words, then you might be able to get ChatGPT to help. So I'm going to get ChatGPT to output unique values from here to here. So I'm getting this to write a formula to output the unique values, and it came up with this. Great, so that worked nicely. Next up, I want to get it to write a Google Sheets formula to take the value in E17 and sum the cost in column E if E17 is the same as column D. So it's going to check this. We're going to paste this in here. It's going to check the currency here, and it's going to sum up the total cost here if 
it's the same as the current currency. And it's coming up with a sumiv formula, which also looks good to me. We'll copy that in here. And I'll press Control Enter to, to accept the autofill. And again, it's done a really good job of that. So, so all it took was a few prompts and it's come up with some decent results. We've used ChatGPT to write VLOOKUPs to calculate values based on the result of a VLOOKUP in the cost in USD case. We've got it to output a unique function and then to do a sum of, and all of this, all of this was done in a few minutes. And of course, we can keep going further and further with this. And if you want to see more examples, then please drop a comment in the video and subscribe to the channel. You can also use ChatGPT to give directions on how to use many other functions, such as drop-down lists, pivot tables, charts, and so on. So let me know what you're using this tool for in the comment section. And thanks for watching.